Hey, what's up? It's been a while, but it's another episode of Watch You Strap In. First off, these aren't reviews, so don't expect a full-on spec, mo you know, specs and everything on this. Uh, these, so some people think, oh, there's, what's the point? If there is no point other than to show a wristwatch check, basically, and strap of choice, and just a uh, these are just casual, impromptu uh, videos, just to show what I got on wrist for the day, basically, and uh, maybe show some options for straps. Uh, if and when I do change them, um, usually with a first look at a watch, I will do it on a uh, its stock option, and then I'll probably do something else later. So this is, of course, the Christopher Ward by Worn and Wound collaboration of the C65 Sandstorm. It's limited edition to 200. Uh, there is a black version, a blackout version they call it, that's limited to 100, uh, but I prefer the silver. Um, I just don't do black PVD or DLC. Uh, I'll explain that some other day, but it, I think it looks better anyways in this uh, uh, silver color. And you get the a bracelet option as well, which you don't get with the blackout version. I really like the color scheme. Very A lot of brushed uh, metal and uh, mixed textures and a lot of interesting things going on on the dial, I think. And uh, of course you get the new light catcher case. And this is in 38 millimeters, which is great. Um, and actually does have a screw down crown. Uh, which uh, you'll find that a lot of C65s surprisingly do not have. Only a handful, or even a handful. Like I uh, know the C65 Trident Vintage, uh, one that I had before, also in 38 millimeters. Uh, not the newer uh, with the light catcher case, but the previous model before. Uh, but we had a screw down crown, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, I think the GMT, which is I think in four. 41 millimeters is also one that has a, um, a screw down crown, but the, and that's not the GMT, but the World Timer rather, the one that's like in black and yellow, uh, had a C65 uh, GMT with the Pepsi bezel. If you look at um, some videos, uh, oh god, at least a year or so ago, um, yeah, those and the, there's even their skin divers never had a screw down crown, although they do have 150 water. 150 meters of water resistance um, They just don't put one in but for some reason they do in certain models such as this which is great And this still sh I have to go over the specs again, but I'm pretty sure it still has 150 meters of water resistance which is plenty for a great all-rounder and I'm gonna get to a bunch of stuff with this uh, real soon. This has been about a week on the wrist been performing great as you can see on the dial It is a chronometer grade movement uh, Celita SW200 and uh, yeah, we'll get all this into a review uh, coming up very soon, I hope to make. Uh, but that's it on the wrist for today. Uh, just really liking this, the industrial look of this. Uh, it's a very unique take, I think, on the sector dial. Uh, they incorporated a, not really a pointer date, but it's kind of a, uh, it kind of is, but it's a, I don't know, a date ring, similar to what they did on their uh, moon glow. But, uh, uh, this, uh, this is just a little bit slightly different execution. I think the Moonglow had the date on the outer edge more, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, in other words, this, this helps, I think, keep uh, uh, both dial symmetry and I think keeps it uh, interesting because you don't usually see uh, a date display in this format quite uh, all that often. And I think the use of this light blue or light teal uh, is a nice splash of color. And, uh, and with that little bit of red on the date and the pointer hand uh, for the seconds. But yeah, um, I do like that sl a little splash of light blue color just to give it a little life. And it almost looks like it glows in the daytime like this too because of the way that light blue contrasts with the metal and uh, the dark grays. Uh, quite nice. Um, really enjoying this. Nice slim profile. Pretty sure it's under 11 millimeters. Again, I have to go over the specs, and uh, I'll go over that in a full review uh, coming up soon. So that's about it. Uh, hope you are enjoying your holidays and staying safe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, hope to make more regular videos like this and uh, actual reviews. Um, just a holiday period. Uh, recently, for the past month. Get me super busy. I only have Sundays off practically, and so uh, not much time for else. But uh, should be back to some more normal schedule. 
All right, let me just back this up. Some people say I get too close. I don't use a wide angle lens because that actually adds distortion. So um, I, I usually put the camera into a, a zoom mode, which actually aesthetically looks better because it doesn't distort the watch or anything else as much. It's a more true straight on look at it. Um, versus if you go wide angle, things will just get kind of, when you get close, it gets looks really big and you go far away, it might look a little too small and maybe look make your arm look a little too diminutive. So the best thing is to do my best to pull back uh, with a basically a zoom lens or configuration and that will give you some sense of scale, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry about the sleeve, I can't move it with my other hand here uh, holding the camera, but um, and without the distortion that a wide angle lens can, you know, often give. All right, so that's about it for now. Catch you in the next, uh, and oh, let me end with something in focus here. Okay, and I'll catch you in the next, thanks, bye.